the sprawling city of Beijing, which is also the biggest cultural and business hub of China, is crawling with billionaires. According to Forbes, it has surpassed New York with the most billionaires, making it the fifth richest city in the world. But how do the rich spend their money? From opulent mansions and lavish getaways to luxury hotels and high-end brands, here's how the creme de la creme of Beijing spend their massive fortune. Okay. Most of Beijing's uber-rich are in fact businessmen, and the richest of those is Zhang Shan Shan, who made his fortune from Nongfu Spring and One Thai Biological Pharmacy. The business tycoon's current net worth stands at a whopping $70.9 billion, making him the richest man in Asia. But unlike other billionaires, Zhang likes keeping a low profile, and is referred to in Chinese media as a lone wolf. Although not much is known about what his house looks like, we know that he recently moved to Hangzhou, and spends most of his time with his super low-key family there. And since he's you know, a billionaire, we'll assume his abode is everything that a billionaire's house should be like. Maybe even a super expensive fleet of cars and a private jet that rules China's skies. We mean, what good is all that money if not this? Moving on to the man behind your favorite app, TikTok, Zhang Yiming, with a net worth of $50 billion. Clearly, the city's billionaires like to remain low-key with their spending. Zhang, too, keeps his lifestyle under wraps, but it's said he lives in an extravagant Beijing penthouse overlooking the city's most stunning views. And next up, standing at $33.2 billion, is the Chinese internet juggernaut Ma Huatang. He's more flashy with his money, thankfully. Ma got his 8,000 square foot big wave road mansion in 2009 for $61 million, and it's currently estimated to be worth $250 million. Not to mention his super exclusive cars worth millions of dollars, including a Ferrari and Mercedes. Since Beijing is China's cultural hub, it's also the most popular location for celebrities to live. And it's very common for netizens to bump into famous people on the streets. Celebrities such as Na Ying owns one of the largest property portfolios in the city. She's bought around five different extravagant homes between 1995 and 2006 worth millions of dollars, some of which are situated in bougie neighborhoods like Greenland Garden and Dynasty Garden. Ying likes living it up, and she's often spotted the various brands flagship stores around Beijing. And even Vicky Zhao Wei, who first became famous overnight for her role in My Fair Princess, She's invested more than $7.6 million in real estate in Beijing. Today, her portfolio is estimated to be worth more than 45 million US dollars. Other rich Beijing celebrities include Fei Wong, Karina Lau, Zhang Yimou, and Kui Jian, to name a few who hold a massive real estate portfolio in the city. If you thought Beijing's hotels were fancy, get a load of its real estate. Such as this unbelievably stunning property with an equally shocking price tag of more than $15 million. The Beijing Manor is all about luxury and opulence. Spanning across a massive area, all 200 of the manor homes are surrounded by the most lavish gardens with a perfect balance between nature and luxury. Each manor is enclosed by stunning fountains with amazing stonework in a casual, intimate, and cozy environment. Honestly, a European chateau or a Spanish villa's got nothing on the Beijing manor. The interiors are of the golden ratio. Its spacious bedrooms are designed to keep the occupant's comfort in mind with every amenity possible. The bathrooms have some of the most beautiful marble work, and don't even get us started on the lounge and living area. The modern architecture with high ceilings and floor-to-ceiling windows for optimal sunlight, overlooking gorgeous scenery along with the most stunning palette of colors come together to form the Beijing Manor. And next, we have this massive $40 million property called the Tao Huayan Luxury House. Spanning across 4,000 square meters, sitting amidst a massive cluster of traditional Chinese homes, ponds, and green cover to keep the environment as natural, comfortable, and clean as possible. The layout of the house is divided into an east and west wing. 
The East Wing is designed for guests, work, friends, and leisure, while the West Wing is solely meant for family and personal events. The guests are greeted with some amazing Taihu stonework at the entrance, with loads of Chinese pine trees for a traditional touch. But it's not entirely Chinese either. Look at this living area, for example, with high ceilings, a 7 meter tall cloud shaped crystal chandelier, and another massive one over the spiral staircase, plus some marble work. It appears to be a mix of both local and western touches. And the doors and floor to ceiling windows are designed keeping in mind the Qing Dynasty, overlooking a super gorgeous Chinese garden landscape outside. There's a lot of traditional artwork around the house as well, with paintings of mountains, trees, dragons, and walls made out of bamboo. Oh, and the terrace views from the second floor give you an incredible panoramic view of a golf landscape and distant mountain scenery. What's more, is that the house also comes with a secret room where you can place your most prized or expensive possessions. This property is thousands of years of Chinese cultural heritage fusing with the 21st century. It's as innovative as it is traditional. And here are the city's most expensive restaurants. When Beijing's billionaires get tired of all the shopping, they head to the most extravagant restaurants offering the finest cuisine in all of Beijing. Take the Georges, for example. It's a casual fine dining gem with about a dozen dishes on the menu. Expect the super delicious plump langoustine with a slab of foie gras and beef tartare on a molecule thin comte cheese base. Expensive, but what's the point of all the money if you're not eating good food to your heart's content? Or you can also head to the most expensive restaurant in the city, Kyoto Keren Minokichi Kaseki Ryori. The food here is prepared by a master Japanese chef and is considered both an art form and a cuisine. They also use ingredients that are in season, which makes it super exclusive and the perfect place for the rich to dine at. The wealthy Beijing Ren also got the three Michelin stars restaurant Xin Rongji as another fine dining option, dedicated to giving its diners a perfect gourmet experience, if you can afford it, of course, it focuses on a selection of high quality ingredients and their original flavor, nutrition, and health. This serene resort perfectly blends together traditional Chinese architecture, Asian culture, and a sense of complete relaxation with the contemporary comforts you'd expect from a proper luxury getaway. And guess what? All of its spacious extravagant suites are surrounded by a scenic garden courtyard. It's views galore. <laughs> 